test is an objective determination of the presence and amount of ocular deviation. The two primary types of cover tests are the cover-uncover test. It is regarded as an essential examination in investigating strabismus. The alternating cover test. The alternating cover test is used to detect total deviation. The two primary types of ocular deviations are the tropia and the phoria. Atropia is a misalignment of the two eyes when a patient is looking with both eyes uncovered. Aphoria only appears when binocular viewing is broken and the two eyes are no longer looking at the same object. The two types of ocular deviations are mutually exclusive, meaning it is impossible for both of them to occur together. Hirschberg test is performed prior to the cover test. It gives an indication of any manifest strabismus present prior to testing. It is performed by shining a light in the patient's eyes and observing where the light reflects off the corneas. Hi, my name is Arisa Said. I'll be your optometrist today and I will be testing your eyes and see how the eye muscles work together in particular. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Can you see everything in the chart over there? Yeah, I can. Are you comfortable to see it? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to begin by testing your um, vision vision without the glasses. So what is the lowest sign you can read? Um, o Y E N U. Okay. And with this sign? O V E H U. Okay. So the vision can only read six nine. And if in a cover test, if the vision is worse than 618, then we have to either go through the, to the spot or and the top letter of the chart and you have to see, you have to tell the patient to look at uh, the limb of the letter or a particular area to fixate the vision. So if you can look at the letter T for me, mm -hmm. if you can look at the bottom of the T for me, Prior to proceeding, ensure that there is sufficient light in the room so that the examiner can clearly see the patient's eyes. Sit approximately 30 centimeters away from the patient to ensure you are able to observe their eye movement. For distance cover test, make sure that the target is at 6 meters. Okay, so first I'm going to begin by covering your left eye and I'm looking for a strabismus or a tropia. If I cover the left eye, if the right eye moves up, down, left or right, that means the patient has a strabismus or a tropia. So I'm going to begin by, keep looking at the bottom of the T for me and I'm going to cover the left eye. And I'm looking at the right eye at this moment. As soon as I remove the cover, if the right eye moves at all, the patient has strabismus, so no, the right eye doesn't move, so I'm going to do the same with the left eye. So I'm going to cover the right eye, and as soon as I remove it, I'm going to look at the left eye. It doesn't move. So this time, I'm going to do the uncover test, which is looking for a fourier. I'm going to cover the left eye and see if the left eye moves when I remove the cover at all. So as you can see, the left eye moves inwards, which means it was turned outwards, which is an exophoria. I'm going to do the same with the right eye. Yes, it moves inwards and it was turned outwards. So this time I'm going to do the alternating cover test and I'm going to cover the uh, left eye and then I'm going to cover the right eye and I will be seeing how big the fourier is. I'm going to begin covering the left eye and I'm going to cover the right eye and basically I don't want the patient to see binocularly at any point. So while I'm doing that, I can see the movement is quite big. I would say about eight prism diopters, and it's an exophoria. If I cover the left eye, and the right eye, and the left eye, and I can see already the foria is quite big. <laughs> I'm going to record it as eight prism diopters. It was about eight diopters, and it's an exophoria. And it was a quick recovery.
and the same goes for if it was an esophoria you would just put an esophoria and you have to tell what kind of recovery it was if it was quick moderate or slow hi my name is arusa saeed i'm going to be testing your eyes today uh, <laughs> hi hi my name is arusa saeed i'll be your <laughs> start again I'm going to do the uncover test. So, if I cover the right eye and I uncover the right eye, I'm going to see if the right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a different eye. laughs> because the patient can only read six nine. Is it six nine? <laughs> yeah. If you, can, mm -hmm. if you can look at the bottom of the T for me, and I'm just going to move your hair slightly. Oh, go on, go on. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cover the. Your yeah, hair's in the way. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, that's so this time I'm going to do the your hair. 